G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be doing some graffiti in virtual reality and I'm going to be using Kingspray Graffiti which is a really fun painting program. I did a video recently where I played a bunch of different arty creative um, apps and games in virtual reality and Kingspray was my favourite of the four that I tried. So I'm actually going to use this now to try and make something a little more substantial. So here we are at the top of a city skyline and this will be my canvas. Now as far as what I paint, it would be a waste to not make use of the fact that we're in virtual reality. I'm recording this video live on Twitch and I took their suggestions as far as what I should paint and uh, they all really liked the idea of painting my Jazza avatar as a gangster, as sort of like a hip dude, what are the, what are the youths call them? <laughs> I'm so like used to using construction lines, I can't bear to not use construction lines. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use construction lines. I have glasses like gangsters do. Do graffiti artists use construction lines? <laughs> they probably can't undo, so this obviously isn't the most realistic graffiti experience. <laughs> undo. <laughs> Eat your heart out, graffiti artists. Okay, you can have a hoodie. And I, I, I believe the cool thing to do these days is have your pants as low as possible. There's our construction. What else do we need? Let's uh, let's give him a boom box. Gold jewelry. Oh yes, he needs bling. Brass knuckles. Can't forget that. And we'll give him a spray paint can as an ode to the fact that obviously now I am a graffiti virtuoso. And we'll add some like cool looking paint splats behind here. His hair is a bit too vanilla, isn't it? Like, I think some sort of a cap. Maybe if we give him a backwards cap on. Does that look like a... That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty hip. Right? Now this is tricky. Oh, I'm right back in the corner. <laughs> I thought I had a whole rooftop to walk around on. Tell you what, as you're spraying this, it's got like um, haptic feedback sort of slightly vibrating. It really does feel like I'm spraying with spray paint. Not that I actually know. I don't tend to go out graffitiing very often. Unfortunately, I can't wipe clean certain areas. So if there's too much in some places, then there's just too much in some places. So like Bob Ross always says, it's always good to start in the back first because it's much harder when you're building up layers to go back once you've come forward. How's that feel? That's pretty, that feels pretty organic, except for the fact that I'm hitting a wall where there is none, but you know. All right, so I'm gonna build up some layers. Oh, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's fun. It does make me wish I had more room uh, physically to work with because when you actually step back and have a look, like it really does make sense. Like it's really cool. And I don't want to have to, you know, teleport back and forward because it feels immersion breaking. I'm really enjoying just feeling like I'm here. This is my canvas. I'm going to get black and change my nozzle. That does a job, doesn't look gorgeous, but it does the job. It's interesting because I have to work with the texture of the, the brick wall itself. Look at that, the paint shows up a darker color on the areas that have a little bit of plaster on them. That's a nice little attention to detail. And I think it does make the whole result look more organic. Look at that, and it's, it's got a wetter look too. That's awesome. Now if I stand up and step back. See that, that sort of looks like a boombox. That's, that's pretty gangster, right? Yeah, we're getting there. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Whoa, did I just spray my uh, eyes? <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> oh, I love the details. Time to bring my character to life. Let's go nice dark blue for the glasses. What sort of glasses do gangsters wear? Tell me kids. What's cool? Let's give him his classic red top, but this is his hoodie, of course. These are his jeans, nice and low. I feel, <laughs> I feel like Gangster Jazza would actually have tidy whities You know, we've got to keep it semi-accurate here. There you go. <laughs> He's just got his white underpants. <laughs> Let's face it, if I was a gangster, I would be a misguided gangster. So that's probably how I would roll. Let's give him a green, cool green hat. I think the outlines will add uh, a big difference, but we're forgetting a few details. I need some bling. 
Give him some brass knuckles or gold knuckles, whatever. Give him an eyebrow piercing. And uh, I don't know, some, let's give him an earring. Is that gangster? I think it's gangster. Let's go white and do the rest of his teeth. Okay, so now let's do the refined work. Gotta have the dimple. <laughs> We're getting there. This bit, I don't know how this will go. Oh, yep, that's what I thought. The line work's gonna get really sloppy up there because otherwise I hit the ceiling. But see, look, it's like, it's, it's almost like I always meant to do that. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. That is better than I expected. <laughs> oh. That's just, this is, this is gorgeous. Wow, all right, let's add some finishing touches. Um, I feel like some highlights here could, uh, could help. <laughs> he looks so misguided. <laughs> he looks like someone who would rock up to like a gang and be like, hey youths, I wanna play. I'm gonna make his insignia a pencil. There you go. We're gonna finish this baby off with a tag. I've never done tag writing before, so this is gonna be really bad. To anyone watching this who's actually a graffiti artist, I'm sorry. I don't know, let's give him an arrow. That's, that's on some graffiti things, isn't it? That's sort of graffiti-ish. Let's give him another arrow. I feel like graffiti tags have a lot of arrows. Oh, that's a cool bright green. Some graffiti artists watching this is like, we'd never use that green. It's too garish. That's That feels tag-ish, doesn't it? He said, desperate for your approval. Feels like it needs a more solidity. Hey, that turned out all right, but it's missing something. We've got the, the whole jazza thing, but it's a bit, I don't know, we're missing the gangster thing. So let's just add, uh, Thug life. And of course, this is going to be in a very bright pink. How do you spell life with a Y? Oh yeah! Alrighty, this is my new logo. Cars will pass and they will understand that if one is searching for the thug life, they can find it with Jazza. That's, <laughs> that's what people are gonna see when they drive past. To be fair, they'll probably get too low an angle to see it past this ledge, but they'll see it, especially these people. Especially the people living over there. I see you peeking through your windows. I feel like I'm a part of the city now. Oh my goodness, whoo! That sensation of taking the mask off after you've <sighs> had a VR mask on for hours is so bizarre. So you can see us side by side. So there's, there's Thug Jazza. And this is, this is a uh, adult jazza. Thug jazza, ready to pimp some rides and uh, MTV some cribs. Adult jazza, ready to go out for a walk in the park and feed the ducks. Thug jazza, ready to pimp slap some hoes. Adult jazza, ready to make friends at the local chess club and uh, draw pictures of myself feeding ducks. That is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. I had loads of fun. This is a really cool painting program. If you're interested in more VR art, make sure to check out the links in the description to some more virtual reality artwork I've created. And of course, subscribe to this channel because I'll make them every couple of weeks at least and uh, you'll see VR art pretty regularly. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later.